Hi everyone, and welcome to episode 164 of Sarah Nova Crafts. I'm your host, Jessica. I can be found as Sarah Nova on Ravelry and Twitter, and as Sarah Nova Crafts on Instagram. Hopefully I remember to do show notes. If so, you can find them down below, um, links to both Ravelry and my blog. Um, feel free to follow me, like, subscribe, comments are all appreciated, all that jazz. Um, I'm doing good. This is the second episode I've recorded when I, because I decided to do every two weeks. The last time I recorded, I'm like, okay, don't think I can manage weekly because my schedule is a little hectic right now, but I think I can manage every two weeks. So here I am two weeks later recording. Um, and it's pretty much exactly two weeks later too, like exactly two weeks. So, um, I only have two whips to show you. I don't have any foes. Um, I was hoping to have a finished sweater body, um, but not the sleeves, but unfortunately I just ran out of steam last night and, uh, didn't get the body finished, but I'm only about repeat and a half, two, two and a, either one and a half repeats or two and a half repeats. I haven't decided if I'm doing um, one extra body repeat or two extra body repeats on my winter leap sweater. Um, I just haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, once I do the one extra repeat, I'm going to try it on again, see if I like the length, and then. Um, and then I'll go from there. I did try it on last night, which is how I knew that, like, I needed to do, um, some longer stuff. So, um, I'll pop in a picture here, or one of the sides, of me trying it on. I'm looking at it on my phone, and it's just a little too short. I mean, I'm short-waisted. I have a short torso. I'm short-waisted. But still, it was like, mm, all right, this is a little, still a little too short. I know it's going to grow with blocking, but at the same time, like, Better safe than sorry. Do I'd rather have a couple extra inches of sweater than not have enough sweater. I prefer my sweaters to come down over my hips, like down onto my thighs if I can. Now this doesn't have any shaping, so it'll get really stretched out at the bottom if um, if I do that, but at least if I could have it come down onto my hips, if not past, right? Now, I'm not quite tunic length, but like cover the crotch length, if that makes sense, which is not quite tunic length. Tunic length is like mid-thigh, but I'm talking about like to the crotch or slightly, like, slightly below, like, you know, so, um, yeah, that's about the length I want it there, but I have it here, and, um, I have the stitch marker from last time, I have the progress keeper from last time, so you can, in fact, see, um, how far down it has gotten, if I can just get the right side here, um, but yeah, I tried it on, and it fits fine, like, it fits, and I know it's gonna grow a little bit, and it's supposed to have a, a smidge of, of positive ease, which means it's supposed to be a, a smidge loose, which is fine, um, and I know it's going to grow a bit when I block it, so I'm going to keep that in mind when I decide whether to do one or two extra repeats, and I mean, honestly, I don't even need to do a full repeat, I could just stop it at a, you know, like, a half repeat gives you the same effect as doing a full repeat because of the way the, the pattern goes, I'm not going to give too much away because it is a paid pattern, it is in a book, but at the same time, like, I could do a half repeat, so I could do, like, an extra one and a half if I think, like, two might be too much, like, right, so... The way the pattern works, I could, it would work. I could do it, I could do a half repeat. I couldn't do, like, a third of a repeat or two-thirds of a repeat, but I could do a half repeat. But anyways, here it is. Um, so the little progress keeper, which is the teacup, is where I was last two weeks ago when I recorded. So here we are. Here's the body of the sweater. So you can see how far I've come. I was up here, right, with, you know, like, one repeat done. Um, because I was upset with it after having to rip it out at Thanksgiving. Um, and then I've done all of this. I've done these many inches of sweater. So I think my goal of having it done for Christmas Day will um, happen. Um, I won't record again until after Christmas, even if I do the two weeks, because, well, yeah, after Christmas. It would be, okay, if today's the 18th, next Wednesday, as in a week from today, is in fact Christmas. So if I don't record again, if I do the next two weeks, I'll be recording on New Year's Day. So, which I may or may not do because Kevin's going to be home. Um, and I feel a little awkward setting up in the living room because I'm using the nice light from outside to reflect in. Because um, there's nice fresh snow outside because it snowed yesterday because we had winter storm fin Finley? Finley, is that what they called it? Move through? Um, the last time I recorded, we were having another winter storm and we had Ezekiel move through. So, you know. But, you know, with the nice bright lights, I have my ring lights, I have my camera. Um... And so, yeah, I figured to use the natural light. But if I record upstairs, which is what I do in Kevin's home, I don't have the natural light. And hanging this up would be weird. I'm hanging this from the support beam of the house that runs across, um, the, that acts as the separator between our living room and our kitchen. Our kitchen is behind me. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, when they opened up the house, because the house was not an open floor, pl floor plan when it was built, they had to leave the support beam, because otherwise the house would have collapsed. So it was this thing sticking down out of the ceiling, and so um, I taped, duct taped the top of this to that. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's how this is hanging behind me, and this is just a, a backdrop I bought on the internet for like $15. But yeah, you can see it moves when I touch it. So, but anyways, yes, this episode is not going to be 45 minutes like the last one. If I make 15 minutes, because I don't have much to talk about, because it's just been sweater knitting. Like, literally, you can see, it's just been sweater knitting the last couple of weeks. Um, and I went and bought Kevin's Christmas presents today, like, and I already put them away so that he doesn't see them, you know. Uh, so yeah, like, you know, it has not been terribly exciting, but I wanted to record anyways, just to show you guys progress. If you've been following me on social media, you've been seeing this, but, um, what I'm going to do is when I finish the body, I then do the sleeves two at a time. So the sleeves should move really fast, um, because I don't have to do one sleeve and then guess at the length of the other. I do them at the same time. So I know they're the same length so that the decreases match, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And what I do is, is like, I do the, sw I do the, like the length as written and then I do the decreases and then I just ignore what the pattern says and knit until the sleeves are the length I want them because my arms are long for my size so most sweaters they stop like here if I followed like the length instructions so I don't <laughs> um I do like all of the um all of the decrease instructions and all of that stuff but in terms of like when they say like finish your decreases right for the form and then knit another like two inches I just ignore that and I just knit until it's where I want it to be so um but yes, yeah, so I have that. Um, the other thing I showed you last time that I put a little bit of work on, even though it wasn't much, is the What Your Fade. Um, I haven't done much work on it. In fact, I've barely touched it, but I did put a few rows on since I showed it off. So here you go. You can see the marker is only a few rows back. You can see it's only like four rows back. So I didn't put much on this because this was what I was working on while I was mad at the sweater. And now that I'm not mad at the sweater anymore, I've just been like sweater knitting, sweater knitting, sweater knitting because I have a goal of that. Um, I know I can't finish this by the end of the year, but I would at least like to finish the sweater and maybe the socks, um, that I keep in my purse. I think that's a doable goal, finish the sweater and the socks for New Year's. I think that's something I can actually accomplish. So, um, so, you know, I think that's, uh, I think that's an accomplishable goal. Get two projects done by the end of the year, the socks, the sweater, and the socks. But so I've done a smidge of work on this. You can see the markers down here. I've done another round of increases. It's down to only two colors, which is nice. The four colors is a pain in the tuckus. But, you know, it is what it is. So, and that's the back. That's the other side. So, front side, back side. So, that's that. Um, oh, and the other big thing I got is last week I got the call that my bouquet was ready to get picked up. Um, we, I'd had it preserved because I really liked my bouquet and I really wanted to keep it. So, I went and had it preserved. And they said six to 20 weeks. And what was funny is... Last week, I was sitting there thinking, oh, I should email her just to check in, right? Not to bug her, be like, oh, is it done yet? Did it? Not that. Just just a quick, hey, how's it going? You know, hope it's coming along. Just want an update kind of thing. Like a very polite, like, oh, I just hoping for an update, you know, kind of thing. And um, ironically, like the day after I was thinking about this, right, um, I get a call from her saying it's ready for me to come pick it up. So I went and picked it up because like... They'll hold it for two weeks before they start charging you for, like, storage. I'm like, I can be there tomorrow. I'm done work at 2.30. And they're like, sweet, 3 o'clock appointment. I'm like, sounds good. So, you know, like, less than 24 hours later, I came and picked this thing up. But so we had it shadow box, shadow box. It's in a, um, a wood frame. We had the wood frame done in silver and the background for the bouquet done in blue to match the wedding colors. The woman was like, you know, some people want to match their house because they have a decorated thing. I was like, we are two people who moved in together that have no theme to our furniture. Like, no theme at all. I have antique dressers from my dad's mom because, you know, my aunt kept them when my Nana passed away. So I have Nana's dressers. We have a couch we got on sale. We have cheap Walmart TV stand. We have a coffee table bought off the internet. We have a giant love sack in the living room. None of our bookshelves match. Like, I'm like, I don't care about our decorating. We don't have a decorating theme. I, I figured... If I made it wedding colors, then it would always be the wedding colors, right? And it didn't matter what the decor is, those are our wedding colors. And they're both colors that Kevin and I like anyways. It's sapphire and silver, right? So we had them do, like, the bright, like, blue for the background of the box. I have it here next to me. I'm going to hold it up and show you in a sec. Um, and then we did the silver frame because I'm like, you know what? Screw it. That goes with pretty much everything. I don't care about decorating. The problem is now I need to figure out where to hang it in this house because it cannot be somewhere where it's exposed to direct sunlight. Because even though it is behind UV protective plastic, um, it's like polycarb as the front instead of glass, it's like a polycarb. Um, 
it still should not be in direct sunlight for any length of time. I mean, if it gets like five minutes every couple of weeks, yeah, sure, fine. no, that doesn't matter. It's day after day, you're kind of fishing for trouble. So, you know, don't, don't court trouble if you don't have to. So, um, so, you know, I need to figure out where to hang it in the house. And it's thick. It's like, it's this thick. I just put my hand on it and pull, it's this thick, right? So like it sticks out, it's going to stick out from the wall. So like we need to figure out a place where to put it where it's not going to be in the way of any doors or us walking by or anything. Cause I was thinking, oh, I could hang it in like, on like the stairwell to go upstairs. But it's, if it sticks out this much, I'm going to walk into it every single time. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of wall space on this first floor because we have giant windows, which I'm not complaining about the giant windows, but at the same time, it kind of limits our wall space options. There's a reason his sword collection is now in the basement. We don't have the wall space for it on the main floor. Um, and like upstairs, I don't have like a place to hang it because the walls are only 43 inches tall and then it's like slanted ceiling. So I'm just trying to figure out where to put it. Um, I have an idea but I'll have to see what Kevin thinks about it, where it would be out of the way. Because if the stairwell going up, there's this huge flat piece of wall that like you need like a ladder to access. And I'm thinking about putting it there. Cause like I would see it every time I, I went upstairs. Um, Kevin wouldn't see it a whole much, but he didn't really seem all, he was kind of, he didn't care one way or the other. Um, I did have his boutonniere preserved though. Um, so it's in the frame with my bouquet. Um, and they preserved all the flowers of my bouquet, but um, some of the greenery fall, that was like coming out the bottom, they weren't able to save and fit in the space we chose because um, we were a little limited on what we could afford in terms of the size of the thing because it's very expensive to have flowers preserved like this. Um, so I don't have the full length of the bouquet because that would have been like a 30 inch tall frame, but I do have all of the flowers, which is to me is what mattered. I had all the flowers and I have the arrangement and you can see what it looked like. You just have to imagine some greenery coming out the bottom, which fine, that's, I'm happy with it. I'm not gonna complain, I'm happy about it. The wedding was not perfect. This isn't perfect. Nothing's perfect. I'm, you know what, but I'm happy with it as it is, you know? And so it just, you know, I'm not gonna complain about it. Like I knew going into it, that was, that was probably what was gonna happen. So that's what I did. So here it is now that I've ranted for like four minutes about this bouquet, right? I've talked about the bouquet more than my knitting, but I'm gonna be done by 15 minutes. It's gonna be a short episode, but here it is. So it's got our, um, so it doesn't have our, uh, doesn't have our last name. So here's the back. It's got the little plaque with our names and the wedding date and who did it. Um, and so let me turn it around so you can see it. So here it is. So here's the bouquet. Oh, you can see the reflection of the ring light and stuff. Sorry. Um, here's the bouquet. You can see here. And there's Kevin's boutonniere down in the corner. So you can see all the flowers are there and there were like fake pearls and stuff in the roses. So everything's been preserved. And I know it looks a little wilty, but that, but the thing is, is that they have to dry the flowers. And when you dry the flowers, it makes them a little wilty. So like, that's how it looks. Like that's what happens. You're, they're never going to look fresh. They're never going to look like they're still fresh. Um, but I'm going to have to figure out where to hang it in the house, but I'm very happy with it. I, I really liked my bouquet. And so I'm glad I got it back. And I'm glad that it looks so nice in the frame. Anyways, I think that is it. I am going to process this video. Hopefully it doesn't take five hours like it did last time because my computer, I tried processing the last video twice. I had to process the last video twice because the first time it was processing, I like left to go run errands, came back. My computer had like completely frozen, crapped out, lost it, ran the process again, had to leave it running basically overnight. And, um, but that was also like a 45 minute video. This one's going to be not even 15 minutes. So and I don't have to cut anything out of this one either. I can just import it, throw the opening and the closing on, and slap some captions in it, and I'm good to go. So it shouldn't take nearly as long to process as it did last time. So, because that was about four, four to five hours last time. <laughs> because, I mean, when you're processing HD video on a computer that is on the older side, it tends not to be happy about it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you stuck it to the end, I'd appreciate a comment, like, subscribe. That's all very much appreciated. Um, I do read the comments. I do try to respond to comments I get. Um, I got a few comments on the last video, which was really nice. It was nice to see people actually watched and interacting, and it's all appreciated. So again, like, subscribe, comments are all appreciated, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye!